Yo, what's up everyone? I hope you're doing well. Uh, this is going to be a little bit different of a video. I This could be really stupid or kind of entertaining. I don't know. But I wanted to do a deep dive on my wardrobe and just really dig down and see what is actually in my wardrobe. So I went through everything in my wardrobe from my dresser to my clothing rack to my closet and I took inventory of everything. And kind of the point of this uh, was A, uh, I was just curious and B, I wanted to see where in my closet was kind of like overweighted based on like how much I wear it or not um, and just see where I can thin out my closet uh, to just to make it a smaller closet because this is, I mean, quite frankly, I know I have too many clothes and I know I spend too much money on clothing. I wanted to see where it was kind of inflated so I could either a sell it or b donate it um, just to thin it out because if I don't wear it I someone else should wear it and you know it just takes up space so there's several like data points I wanted to collect when going through my whole entire closet uh, number one I wanted to do a price estimate so this is either what I paid for it or uh, if it was a gift from friends or family or if a brand sent me something since I have a fashion channel um, I just use kind of the retail price for that so a lot of these things are have been given to me by you know friends and family or by a brand or something but just for the sake of this video I just put in the retail price just for kind of better accounting and then I split them into categories so things like jackets t-shirts bottoms accessories and bags and then also just for a little bit of fun uh because i always joke i'm like oh i always wear like black like all the time in like neutral colors i took notes of every color uh basic color i didn't go into like deep details just like you know green black gray uh blue and so you can see kind of the breakdown of color in my wardrobe you know i actually graduated in uh in finance so i haven't really used excel in a little bit like uh, several months but um, this is <laughs> this is my application of all those years of school is <laughs> to do this um, anyway so as you can see here yeah so I have the uh, brand and then the item price estimate uh, category subcategory color and then year purchase I was gonna try and do something with that like do a pie chart of like um, what year I purchased it and like how new my wardrobe is and how old it is you know but so this goes down for a uh, a while 221 items in total um, don't pay attention to that because I have a title um, row up here but anyways so uh, going just through averages here oh okay so the shocking total of my wardrobe how much money I have absolutely wasted unless it's on acronym or on fin levy or anything cool uh, <laughs> was <laughs> Fourteen thousand uh, and five hundred dollars. And uh, by the way, this video is not to like flex. Be like, oh my god, look how look how much money I spent. Because actually, like that's really not much to be proud of. Like that money could be put to much better use. Like that is like more than my like investment account and everything. So I'm like, oof. And then so the average price, this average like mean price, uh, was sixty five dollars for a garment. However, the distribution of that is like really huge. Uh, so medium price, uh, $35 and mode price, which is like most common. And so median is like if you wind up everything from like most expensive to least expensive and you crossed uh, each one off, which you met in the middle, uh, it's 35. But um, the minimum was a $3 Gildan t-shirt. Uh, I actually got like a uh, five pack of those. Uh, and then for max, I have my acronym J68PL. But so uh, earlier when I was mentioning like the uh, the average price, like you can just see like I, I kind of did some conditional formatting here. So the darker the color, uh, the more expensive it is. And um, as you can see, that one jacket makes up eight percent of the total value. Of my wardrobe I wanted to make a couple of histograms here so what I did was I, I created these bins 
and and up until i think it was uh 200 it was every 10 dollars i have like a bin um and then from 200 dollars up uh it's every 20 dollars up until 300 and then it's 50 and then it's 100 and then it's up because i don't really have that many clothes so uh above you know the 200 dollar mark taking a look at this histogram here as you can see it kind of has uh it definitely weighted towards um you know like 20 to 40 dollars that's like the most and then it sharply tapers off if you get above like 50 or 60 dollars you know it just continually goes down and you can see this a little bit more if i make this into a line graph right here and so you can just see how heavily like weighted like these really expensive items will pull the average up which is this orange line here so what makes up this line graph here what makes up this huge lump and why is it like so high yet the median uh, the average is much higher than that so hold on sometimes like excel like lags okay this is not the most uh useful graph in the world oh my god this is laggy okay so this is just percentage of total closet this is everything this is in terms of value and then like the percent of value so this whole pie chart right here is like the fourteen thousand five hundred dollars and then you can see how each every, every single one of these is like an individual garment so you can see what makes up the bulk and obviously this big blue chunk right here that's my j68 the eight percent here it's my j44 i got used for 720 uh, here I got my 11 by BBS Bamba highs, Bamba lows, often levy and mess twos, often levy centen two pants. So you can really see like the big chunks of the uh, wardrobe. I have my Arcteryx A to B blazer here, you know. But then you go down here and it's like, oh, here's a canvas tote bag. Oh, here's a turtleneck, thirty five dollars. And so you can just see like how many small clothes add up and this is a good representation of like how little things can add up to be a lot um not saying everyone should go spend this much on a jacket because just if i think with two brain cells i'm like yeah that is not a smart decision but then internally i'm like but it's fire though you're gonna love it you could resell it for the same value oh my god but anyways uh yeah i just thought that was very interesting so breaking down the categories of everything hold on this is really laggy Okay, there we go. So this is just total number of items, 221. <clears throat> Too much, I need to thin that out, okay? That was kind of the point of this video and me doing this like deep dive on my wardrobe. So uh, jackets make up 13%, bottoms 14%, t-shirts 35% pretty much, which is stupid. Well, I guess 34, depending yeah, if you round down. So 34%. There's no way I wear that many t-shirts all the time. So I already know I need to thin out t-shirts uh, Sweatshirts 15% I do love sweatshirts shoes 11% Accessories and bags make a much smaller percent and that totaled back up to be 100 just a little check So looking at this pie graph here, you can just, again You can see how heavily weighted the t-shirts are and those aren't even my most Expensive item, but you can see how much it makes up of it. So I'm like, okay, I should probably thin that out. Kind of a really cool little interesting uh, little exercise I'm doing here. Um, so breaking down each one of these chunks of the pie graph here, going to jackets. I broke jackets down into insulated jackets, shell jackets, light jackets, and fleece jackets. Even though fleece jackets could probably be piled in with like hoodies and like sweatshirts, but technically it's a jacket. So most of, and looking down the breakdown of it, it, it does make sense. Um, it doesn't rain that much where I live. So like 17% of my jackets are shallow jackets. I think that's fair. I'm, I'm kind of happy with this uh, distribution of here, but you look at the price here, you can just see like, again, the darker the color, the more expensive it is. Average price, 150 bucks for a jacket uh, in my wardrobe. Um, shell jackets come in on top with almost $300. So yeah, tech wear is expensive if you want like a cool shell jacket. I don't know, I just thought that was interesting going down to bottoms here. Okay, so I broke the bottoms down into like technical pants. These are your techie cargo pants, your outdoor pants, your four-way stretch pants, all that stuff. Then jeans, you know, just straight up denim, sweatpants, trousers. Trousers I just included that are like things like corduroy pants, 
chinos, non-technical cargo pants, and then I have shorts here. So uh, looking at the breakdown of it, it seems pretty, uh, pretty accurate, and I, I'm kind of happy with this layout here. I could probably sell some jeans, to be honest, because I don't wear them that much. Uh, but again, looking at the price, you want some nice technical pants? It's going to cost you, because as you can see, 172 bucks for an average pair. Uh, looking at t-shirts, which is the number one thing I'm like, I got to get rid of. And the thing with t-shirts with me is like, I, I tend to like collect them because I'm very sentimental. So I'll be like, oh, I went to this concert and I got this t-shirt and I never wear it, but I want to keep it because it's like a member. It's like, I should let it go because I don't wear it. Number of t-shirts, 76. And then the subcategories of this, graphic tees, just normal t-shirts, uh, breathable long sleeve t-shirt. This is gonna be your long sleeve airism t-shirts and stuff. Uh, breathable t-shirt, this is just gonna be a short sleeve. And then thermal long sleeve t-shirt, this is gonna be your Henley, this is gonna be your Uniqlo heat text, this is gonna be your wool based long sleeve t-shirts. And then I have one tank top. Yeah, as you can see, graphic t-shirts make up 38%. Just I never wear graphic t-shirts. I don't. Like, when was the last time I posted a fit pic when I was wearing a graphic t-shirt? I can't remember. So that's a clear sign. I'm like, okay, we got to do something about that. Let's let's sell. The price here, they're they're all like, you know, average price, 22 bucks, except for the tank top. I, I only have one, so like the sample size is like one. So it's like, okay, cool. Going down to shoes, I was actually kind of surprised I didn't have that many shoes. I, I, I still have a lot and I should thin that out because no i don't think anyone needs 25 pairs of shoes 25 so I, I out of curiosity i added up how many were gifts and all like eight sneakers were ended up being gifts yeah the, the the sneakers is a big chunk of that but looking at boot like the price boots are definitely the most expensive at 231 dollars on average which does make sense because boots generally are a little bit higher quality made to last a little bit more so i think that's fair i think it's still very expensive though but average price for my shoes of 150 bucks which god i remember back when i first started getting into fashion the first like sneakers i ever bought were adidas superstars still have them in my closet they're 80 bucks i was in high school and i was like bro these are these are so expensive dude like wow not nah, i have i have gone down the rabbit hole average price 150 it's bro i'm telling you the fashion the fashion rabbit hole is real dude you start going down it this is sweaters and sweatshirts because i classify them differently so i got i broke it down into hoodies uh sweaters which are going to be like your knitwear thing these are going to be your pendleton you know and then there's going to be sweatshirts which is like what i'm wearing now which is basically just like a hoodie uh without a hood and then i have flannels in there totaling back up to 35 just some objective math yeah th this uh distribution here I'm, I'm pretty happy with I, I do like sweaters a lot hoodies are cool um i didn't really feel the need to thin this out even though i probably should um average price 39 bucks uh and then going down to accessories accessories will include things like gloves ball caps boonie hats which includes a bucket hat uh scarves and a beanie so or not a beanie beanies here's a breakdown of that uh i really don't wear that many scarves so i i'm donating i already know i'm donating one of them so average cost you know 19 almost 20. so looking at color here as you can see the, about 50 percent of my wardrobe is black uh which makes sense because i do wear it a lot 12 percent gray i actually thought that was going to be a little bit higher um green which is all my like olive colors all my green is pretty much olive 13 percent 11 percent white nine percent brown one percent lavender uh four percent navy I just thought this was kind of interesting to see the breakdown of this. Um, I don't think there's anything to be fixed here because eh, I do like my color palettes that I use. So, all right. So the whole point of me doing this was to kind of thin out my wardrobe and kind of just do a deep dive and like analytically see where I have too much stuff of a certain category. And so these are all my reductions. I made a total of 26 reduction things. I'm a... Uh, put up on grailed already or be going to put on grailed or C donate because some things to be real here are just like you're not going to get anything for it used so as you can see a lot of t-shirts down here like one jacket uh, a couple bottoms but a lot of like beanies and stuff uh, but again mostly it's all t-shirts um, and I think 
I'm gonna go back and try and thin out my closet even more. Uh, so my starting total was 221 items of clothing. Uh, new total is 195 um, after I donate and sell everything. So that's a 11%, well, almost 12% reduction in the amount of clothes I have. Um, I would like to go back and kind of go through it again and at least add another like 5%. While I was doing this, I was, you kind of realize like what your favorite pieces are and the things you wear the most. And so if I went back to the original data, I could just like highlight my, some of my favorite items here, you know, like, let me just, you know, oh, here, some of my favorites, um, you know, and you, you can just go through and highlight some of your most worn things. And then you can see like the things you don't wear all that much so it was, excel is like a really like neat tool uh this was probably a little bit too much of a deep dive uh i would recommend probably just like getting a piece of paper and just tallying up like different categories and then you can see like how much stuff you have and really it's more like doing this exercise or an exercise similar to this is going to force you to go through everything and then just even in like you can just take mental notes of like oh wow i have a lot of t-shirts i haven't worn this in three years it's time to let it go so something i might want to do in the future uh, is to keep track of everything i wear every single day and then take a log of that and then i can see my most worn pieces of clothing and then also you can see the price per wear so basically it's like if you have a hundred dollar pair of pants and you wear it for a hundred days that's one dollar a day Whereas if you have a $50 pair of pants, but you also wear it 100 days, then it's 50 cents a day, you know? And so it, it would just kind of be interesting to see price per wear, because I think that's very important when building wardrobe and just being into fashion, because like, it's, I think it's totally cool to spend a lot of money on a expensive piece of clothing that you really love and you're going to take care of it and have it for a long time or eventually just sell it and get most of your money back. I think that's fine because then you can like calculate the price per wear, but if you get something, even if it's not as expensive, but you never wear it, it's not worth it in my opinion because of the price per wear. So that's a video that I might wanna do. So if you're interested in me doing something like that, uh, just let me know in the comments down below. But with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope it wasn't too long. It probably is gonna to be too long. Um, anyways guys, I'll see you. Have a good one.